Hey everyone, this is Jesse coming at you with some news about Transformers Rise of the Beast. So there is a story or was a story circulating on social media this morning uh, within the Transformers community and I wanted to uh, talk about it here for a few minutes. So this story is coming from the direct.com and the article is titled The Next Transformers Movie is a Mess Claims Insiders. Why is that? Let's go on here to, to find out. So according to insider Jeff Snyder on the Hot Mike podcast, Transformers Rise of the Beast has gone through a multitude of edits during post-production from almost a dozen different editing teams. Uh, he went on to say, quote, they're getting a little worried, they being the studio, about Transformers. I wanted to caution you in this draft. This is, what, this is what they said. They said that Transformers has gone through close to a dozen different editing teams that have argued about different cuts of the film. Snyder's co-host, uh, added that the sequel is, quote, a mess and that Paramount is trying to fix it. I've got to be honest, a few weeks ago, a friend who's a source of mine who has connections with that studio and people involved in that situation told me the same thing. He had heard that the movie's a mess and that they're trying to fix it. So as the article uh, asks here, what's going on with Rise of the Beast? Uh, one of the things that the article specifically calls out here, and I would like to reiterate, mm -hmm. is that there has not really been much in terms of promotion. For this film and that's really starting to worry me as a uh, fan of this franchise we had the uh the teaser trailer which came out back in december and i uh, right if you just watch that teaser trailer the general movie going audience uh including i would say probably the majority of the transformers fans themselves right the people who are uh, following transformers news like all the time uh, if you watch that trailer, you can't tell what the hell this film is about at all. You know that there are Transformers now that turn into animals, and that's about it, right? We, we do have some, some characters that we're familiar with. So we see Optimus Prime, we see Bumblebee, and then we see some new Autobots on there. But, you know, other than that, couldn't tell you what the story is about. And that was followed up by a uh, trailer that came out during the Super Bowl. And that was really more of an ad for Porsche. It featured Mirage. And um, I, if I remember correctly, I mean, this is just off the top of my head, but, but if I remember correctly, I think it even included like the, the Porsche logo at the end. So I don't know if that was really a, a promotion for the movie, a promotion for a car. I don't know what that was, but it wasn't really any sort of promotion, uh, in my opinion, for the film. So we are less than two months away. So I'm recording this on April 21st, uh, the same day that this article here was written. And this movie comes out on June 9th, 2023. And uh, where's the promotion? I, I, I don't know. Um, what I wanted to talk about here is, so I've got uh, Rotten Tomatoes pulled up. I want to talk a little bit about these uh, scores here. So if we look at the very first Transformers movie, Right, so it had a 58% um, critic score, but it had an 85% audience score. This film, um, I felt, had a uh, wide or, or a broad audience, or attracted a broad audience, I should say. If you, right, if you at all were a listener to my old uh, Transformers podcast, TF Wire, I talked about this at that time where I um, had taken my parents to the the preview night screening for this film, which occurred on uh, Ju was it June, July, July 2nd of uh, 2007. And um, my parents, right? So my parents are not Transformers fans. I was a fan of Transformers growing up. Uh, they knew uh, that I like Transformers, right? They bought me Transformer toys as a kid. Um, they knew that I'm uh, a collector of Transformers and things like that. So I was able to, to uh, talk them into going to see this film. Uh, they do like action films. And uh, they walked away from the movie absolutely, love, absolutely loving it. Uh, again, as a fan, again, if you remember from, from back in the day and the, the TF Wire podcast, if you were a listener, I talked about this. I left that film not knowing what to think of it. It took a couple of viewings before I was uh, able to develop any sort of opinion about it. But in the end, I absolutely love uh, this movie. I think it's a great introduction to, uh, you know, for this property to live action. Sure, it does have uh, its own issues, uh, but I think it's, a, I think overall it is a really great film. Um, 
as we start looking at some of the other movies uh, that followed that, right? So Revenge of the Fallen, that had a 20% uh, you know, critic score. Dark of the Moon, that had a 35% critic score. You have to remember with Revenge of the Fallen, uh, that film was uh, coming out during, or was being made during the uh, writer's strike that occurred. And that film was being shot with a, a script that was not complete. And, you know, things were being made up on the spot. So I, I can see why the critics <laughs> were not a big fan of this film. I, I think it has a lot of issues, but I still enjoy watching it. Uh, third film, as you can see, it, the critics gave it a little bit better score than the uh, the second one. I think I, within the last six months, I've, I've watched all of these films, um, sort of, you know, one right after the other. And I think the, the first three make a really good trilogy of films. It's not perfect. But I think it's a great introduction for, you know, taking a transforming uh, toy and this cartoon and, and turning it into a live action franchise. I think the, the those first three movies, like I said, make for a good trilogy of films. Once we start getting into, you know, movie four, movie five, you know, Age of Extinction, The Last Night, right? 17% for Age of Extinction, 16% for uh, The Last Night. It's, it's just like you look at these films and you look at that first film and you're like, what the hell happened? I have no idea. I can't even tell you what the plot is off the top of my head for uh, the last night or for age of extinction for that matter. The last night itself is just a mess, right? It ends on sort of a, a cliffhanger tease and uh, you know, Hasbro Paramount, they've rebooted the entire thing. So uh, we're never going to see any sort of um, uh, resolution to that. Maybe. Um, but then if we start looking at Bumblebee, and I don't have Bumblebee up here, so I'm going to do a search. Bumblebee actually has a 91% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, certified fresh. And the audience score here is 74%. So the audience score for Bumblebee is actually a little bit lower than what it was for the first Transformers movie. But as you can see, the critic score is really high. Now, I enjoyed this film. I still think there's too much in terms of uh, human characters and human uh, screen time. And we don't get enough of the Transformers on the screen. But uh, I really did enjoy this film. And I think it was, I think it was a good sort of soft reboot and uh, kind of, you know, pushing the franchise in the direction that it should be going. So when it comes to uh, Rise of the Beast, I don't know, I don't know what might be going on here. Um, obviously, with this film, what they're going to be doing is introducing us to Beast Wars characters. But does the general movie going audience know what Beast Wars characters are? Do they even care what they are? And if what they are, right, if the, if the studio is relying on the trailers to tell them what they are and why they should care about them, at this point in time, they've completely failed. Now, I think there is a final trailer coming out. Um, or maybe it's an actual trailer, quote unquote, um, for the Transformers film shortly, uh, but it's not out yet. And again, we're less than two months away from the release of this movie. Toys are starting to um, roll out into stores, but I've not seen any sort of promotion for this thing. Uh, no TV spots, no um, fast food tie-ins or anything like that. Maybe that's still coming, um, but again, less than two months out from this thing. And uh, I can't tell you, I can't tell you what this film is about. And um, if I were to ask my parents, again, people who do not follow Transformers, if they knew uh, anything about this film, I guarantee you they would say they they do not. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with this film. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this article is correct and we're going to get something that may in the, in, in the end turn into a mess. If we're, they're already, they're already talking about uh, releasing an animated film uh, next year. And this was supposed to be, I believe this film was supposed to be the start, not the animated one, but the Rise of the Beast, I believe, was supposed to be the start of a new trilogy of films. This one performs poorly. Um, are we even going to get those films? I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, again, I don't know what might be going on here, but I do feel like there may be some credence to this. Because again, we're not seeing much in terms of promotion. The promotion we have seen doesn't really uh, explain what the movie, the film is about. And I, I just don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. And if we look at this again, 
where it says they've gone through a dozen different editing teams, that kind of has to worry you. Yeah, so if you head on over to the direct.com, you can check out this article. Uh, I'm curious as to what you think may be going on with this film. If you let me know down in the comments, uh, I'd be very curious to, to read what you have to think. So 